Okay, today I want to show you step two of your op art hand. Remember, we talked about op art being optical illusion art. So it's art that is drawn to make it trick your eye or to have an illusion of 3D space or different colors. Um, we are working to try to make our hand shape 3D. So you have completed tracing your hand and we added horizontal lines that go all the way across our paper. But on top of our hands, we've added a curved line to imply the curvature of our hand or the 3D quality of our hand. So what we want to do today, step one, if you haven't completed your pencil lines, you should do that first. Make sure you've got your ruler and you're working your way up. Remember, you're not drawing lines on top of your hands, the straight lines. You're doing the curved lines. And if you need to go back and change, like this curvature right here looks a little bit off. So I'm going to just erase that one line and then I'm going to redraw it right here. Okay, I like that a little bit better. So what you're going to do now, you're going to take a Sharpie or a permanent marker and I want you to trace the lines on your paper, not your hands. So important thing is to do the curved lines all the way across like this. Okay, now they are traced and we are ready to do some erasing. What I want you to do is grab a big chunk eraser with your class number and you are going to start erasing any lines that show up underneath your Sharpie. Do we want to erase our hand lines? No, just the lines you traced over with Sharpie. Okay. Now we're ready to see how we want to add our color. There is an important word that I want to teach you. It is called value. Value shows us in color or in pencil the lights and the darks of a color. So if you are working to get value, that's one of our elements of art, then you want to pick a color and you want to practice First, by barely touching down on the paper. It's a very, very light color, okay? Then it's gonna slowly get a little bit darker. Then a little bit darker. Then really dark. Okay, so value shows the light, shade or value all the way to the darkest. Okay, that is a that's what we call a value scale. Okay, so value is what's going to help us create our optical illusion with our hands. So you're going to pick two colors or three up to you, and you want to pick two colors that are very contrasting. These colors mean that they stand out, they're very different from one another, and it, we are going to create a pattern in our horizontal rows with our crayons. So maybe I'll start up here at the top of this red, okay? I am going to fill in this whole row with a light value, okay? I'm gonna start at the top because there's not many fingers crossing into this horizontal row. Okay. Now, the tricky thing when you get to a finger you want to go around the edge of that finger with a little bit darker value and you're going to color it in from dark to light. Okay, it'll be easier to see on one of our, my other fingers. Next, I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to color in, I'm actually going to use my light value and just color all the way across. 
Remember the light value, so you're not pressing down very hard at all. Now on our fingers, what the most important part is, along the edges, trace your pencil line where your fingers are. Then you see the dark value and the light value. We want to have an in-between. We want to do a medium value. So it helps show the curve of these fingers. So you go from dark, and then I'm gonna color a little bit lighter right here inside. So it's lighter than that line, but it's darker the inside color of my finger. Same thing, start from the dark edge, and I'm gonna do a little medium value in between. Okay, dark to a medium value, okay. If I were to do this down here, I'd go ahead and color my whole section with a light color of my red. And then what you're gonna do again is trace your pencil lines with your crayon on a dark value. Now, I'm gonna do that medium value. I'm gonna color just inside the outline. My medium value, so it's in between pressure. I'm not pressing down the hardest I can, but I'm also not pressing the lightest. So get your medium value. Okay, just like that. So as you continue to work, you will start to get the illusion that it's 3D, okay? And as you work, it, it'll start to fill in and look even better as you go. If you need to go back and kind of make the outline a little bit darker to make sure it lines up with all your fingers, you can also do that, okay? So keep working, and as you work, you want your finished one to be completely filled in and have the dark values around the outline of your hand so that it creates a 3D look. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have questions.